what uh, what happened on the play and where you feel it? Uh, well, I feel like it. I just I just stoned the ball and then uh, God went into my knee and I just felt it up into my hip and that's all I really remember from from the play and stuff. Uh, yeah, left. Yeah. Did you say anything about when you can be able to play or did you get? No, they, they didn't tell, I'll get an MRI tomorrow morning and really get some you know insight on on what exactly it is. I mean, heck, it may just be. You know, a bruise to the knee, you don't know. I mean, I'm trying to get back out there as soon as possible. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't think anything's torn or anything like that. I don't feel like it. So you think you would have a knee injury, not a hip? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, we'll see tomorrow, I guess. But you would, again, same old story. You, you were taking a lot of hits under a lot of pressure. Mm. Um, did you think maybe some of those issues had been resolved based on the way the Giants came Uh I mean, there's all, you're always going to take hits as a, as a quarterback, no matter who um, you're playing for or whatever. Uh, but, um, you know, obviously uh, the guys that were in there did, did you know, the best that they could do. And uh, Trent was out for the week uh, or for the, for the game. Um, but uh, we just got to get better all, all phases of the game, um, offense, defense, special teams. Quarterback, running backs, line, you know, everywhere. We just got to get better, and you know, that's all we can do right now. Eric Reed said he was a little bit upset. He was out there with you. He was a little upset. Fans were cheering while, while you were still down. And mm-hmm. another guy said, you know, it, it might have just been the excitement of maybe Jimmy getting to play for the first time. Did you hear any of that? And do you have any reaction to that? Uh, I didn't. I, mean, I was just kind of focused on my knee and talking to the doctors and stuff. Uh, I wasn't really focused on the, the fans or the crowd or whatever. Uh, so no, I didn't hear that. What did What did it mean to you to to have Eric out there on the field? Is, is I mean, have you got have you guys came close? Yeah, I mean, me and Eric got a you know a good relationship, and uh, he's one of the leaders of this team, especially the leader on defense, and um, he's a role model for a lot of guys. And um, you know, to have him out there, uh, having my back, you know, means the world to me. And you know, a lot of guys, um, you know, have my back to the, the whole thing. And, uh, you know, it's just really cool cool to see that all the guys got your back. You got a few running plays called for you today, or at least options. Mm-hmm. Is that something you like to do? Is, is that yeah, I mean, I like to do it. And, you know, I think yeah, I, bring, I can run the ball. So anytime we can mix some things up for, for defenses, I have to, to think about an extra, another thing rather than just handing it off. Um, that, you know, they'll have to game plan for, you know, some zone read stuff. So, uh, yeah, I like doing it. You like to do more of that as – um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would definitely say if, you know, I'm 100% healthy, no doubt, yeah. I feel a little bit more out of the pistol today as well. Mm-hmm. We did. We did a lot of that during the week. Uh, we did some just straight handoffs out of the, the pistol, some zone read stuff, some play action out of the pistol. Um, that was more of a thing we did a lot of this week in practice. That's good. Based on how comfortable does Jimmy seem with the offense? How much is he? Uh, yeah, I know he's definitely gotten gotten smarter. Uh, I mean, he's, it's been however many weeks. He's definitely gotten a better grasp of the offense that he got here. But you know, you'd have to ask him about that.